It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Plenty of excitement as we count down to tip off here on 2K Sports. A little New Year's Eve hoops. This is very, very When's festive. the countdown begin? Five, four, three, three two, two, Happy New Year! Year! Yeah. Okay. And on tap tonight, it's the Sacramento Kings going up against the Denver Nuggets. Looking at Denver, it's been a very successful first half of the season for them. When the opportunity to win a ball game has been there for them, they have grabbed it over and over. The Denver Nuggets an intriguing team, fellas. A blend of vets, younger guys. What do you see as their strengths this season? Well, they got a lot of guys that can initiate the offense. You know, the depth sometimes serves them well, especially playing at that high altitude. I used to play in Denver for two seconds. I used to be like, coach, time out. I can't breathe. Well, they got some great young talent. And um, I think that backcourt is probably their strongest uh, asset right now. But, you know, you got guys in the front court that can really get it done. And I love that altitude. I used to go, ah, my lungs would be free. Hmm. Maybe you weren't in shape. <laughs> oh, <laughs> tip off fast approaching. Let's go to Kevin Harlan. Happy New Year's Eve. Thank you for joining us here on 2K Sports for the NBA. We're all dressed up and ready to go. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Brent Berry and Greg Anthony. We've got David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Battle in the Western Conference. The Sacramento crowd hoping to watch their Kings come out on top and going against Denver, their first meeting of the season. This team matched up so well during the regular season last year, splitting their four games. This should be a terrific battle. And we've got time for a quick pregame report. With that being said, let's head to the sideline and our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, D.A. Well, guys, Sacramento Kings coach Dave Yeager started out coaching in the minor leagues. And every year he'd attend NBA training camps, but especially ones with teams that had big roster turnover. He said a coach who's had his team together calls out a drill and everybody does it. But to watch those guys teach and put it all together, that was where you really learn. Kevin? Thanks, David, and it's clear that Coach Yeager is a details guy, an impressive young coach. So Sacramento will get the first possession. Now let's take a look at the Nuggets opening lineup. Down low, it's Millsap and Jokic. Murray and Harris in the backcourt, and it's Chandler in at the small forward. A nice shot by Bogdanovich. And it's the Nuggets with the ball. It's a three-point game. Their last game, a win against San Antonio, looking to carry that into this one. Yeah, just a terrific display of shooting, focused on taking shots that the offense was designed to create. Now, so many good things can happen for you when you just take your time and get to the spots on the floor where you have tremendous confidence. And here is Hill. Wilson Chandler getting his three to go. Bogdanovich dishes to Randolph. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. He might not elevate like some of the other guys on the court, but as we've learned, Randolph knows how to get the ball in the basket. Now here's Murray. Chandler kicks to Jokic. Over Coley Stein. Bounces high off the rim and drops. Now, so nice for a coach to look at his center as a capable shooter. Jokic is just that. Coley Stein a screen. Heald kicks to Coley Stein. Dishes to Hill. Just five to shoot over Murray. 
And Coley Stein throws it down. And guys, isn't it great to see a player who, who works that hard on the glass at both ends? Well said, G. That's the way he has built, you know, his reputation. Finding a way 100% effort all the time. And then uses his explosiveness once he's gathered the rebound to throw it down. Bogdanovich, no luck. You can tell just by looking at his body language that he didn't want to take that shot, although the defense was more than willing to let him attempt it. Chandler's shot, good. Well, a good start here. That's Trey for Trey, and that's Spanish for three. You're right. The Kings have gone three of five, shooting the ball so far. And the Kings struggled last season, Greg. They did so because they just couldn't get stops in the defensive end. And defense something that this team will struggle with at times. A lot of it is they don't protect the rim or close out, particularly on that three-point shot. And so much of defense just boils down to challenging shooters whenever you can. It's about giving more effort on that side of the ball. Now here's Murray following the missed shot by Willie Cauley-Stein. Jokic, no good. Wonderful defense, staying active around the rim and then really putting the shooter in a tough spot. The jump hook, again, healed, missing. Denver in the lead. Now here's Murray. Eight points his last outing. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Well, on a scale of 1 to 10 on difficulty, that's an 11. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. And the shot goes in. I do so enjoy watching a bounce pass executed that perfectly. The Nuggets have gone 4 of 5 from the field so far. Harris outside. He dishes it to Millsap. There's the pick. Out to Chandler. A three-pointer off the mark. And you know what? You can't get a better screen. Frees him up beautifully, but he just fails to capitalize. Oh, man, he'd love to have that one back. He just does everything right, but doesn't get the finish. Now here's Chandler. He's got six. He feeds it to Murray. Millsap a screen on Randall. In the corner, it's Harris. Murray, the pass to Millsap. Well, Nuggets need to get a shot off here. That doesn't go either for Chandler. Uh, somehow, some way, he couldn't get that one to fall from in between. Got to take advantage of the weak defense when you can. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Nuggets. And Buddy Heal, the centerpiece of the DeMarcus Cousins trade. Talk about what makes him, Greg, so intriguing. Well, the, the Wooden Award winner in his senior season, he, he led Oklahoma to the Final Four. And how about leading the nation in three-pointers made? I think that can translate to the NBA level and could make him a difference maker. Catching up on the changes for Sacramento. Kufus checked in for Willie Cauley-Stein. Labissiere comes in for Zach Randolph. Garrett Temple has checked in for Buddy Heal, and it's Fox in for Hill. A fantastic awareness, finishing with ease at the rim, and the defense was just not a factor. Goof is with it. Inside. Here's Fox. No good off the back of the rim. The Nuggets have gone 5 of 8 from the field, shooting over 62%. Fareed, a screen on Fox. Here's Nelson. Pass to Cephalosha. A three-pointer, no good. The Kings trailing. Fox dishes to Temple. And the layup is good. Bogdanovich has got five points so far. And another momentum shift. These teams going back and forth all night. Yeah, which team's going to find some consistency first? Neither one can pull away. Nelson. Kufis with the block. Fox against Nelson. And here is Fox. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. There's a good screen. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. Kings lead by one. 
Live from Golden One Center, you're watching 2K Sports. And a chance now to hear from Paul Millsap talking about the confidence of his team. You know, our attitude approaching the game has been, you know, we can beat any team in this league. You know, if we work together and, you know, um, put everything into play, you know, we'll be all right. And that's the kind of attitude we've been having. You know, that's the attitude we have to keep. Greg, it's got to be more than just attitude, right? I mean, ultimately, don't you have to have guys step up and produce in some cases or even overproduce? You do, but, but really it is about attitude and confidence. I mean, those are the two elements that if you bring to the table, you really will have a chance to beat anyone. And, and so don't discount that attitude when you're on a roll. They, they call it getting your swag on today. Back in the day, it, it was called having your mojo working. Right. So same thing, and, and you can ride that for quite a ways. And we're getting back to the action in our New Year's Eve broadcast. And looking at what we've seen from Sacramento so far, uh, guys, what do you think? Getting high percentage looks, wearing down that defense Two on shots. the inside. Such a great way to get yourself into an offensive groove and build up some early confidence. Bogdanovich out there with Scal Labissier. Then it's Garrett Temple. Then there's Kufus. And it's Fox in at the one. That's the five out there for the Kings. Ray, you played all four years in college after redshirting your freshman season. What kind of advantage, as you look back on that, do you think it gave you, if any, in preparing for the pressures and the style of the NBA? I don't know so much, Kevin, if it gave me an advantage with regards to the pressures of the league, but certainly with regards to the physicality of the league, it's something that I desperately needed. Just a late developer, a late bloomer. I think I was about 175 pounds when I went off to college. Mm. Not a preferential playing weight for the NBA. So <laughs> I needed that year just in terms of the maturity of what I needed physically. And defensively, they're on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Barton outside. Inside, here's Fareed. And there's the feed to Zephalosha. Nelson against Fox. Nelson kicks to Cephalosha. Denver passing it around. Lumley with the screen. The shot's good from Fareed. And the Nuggets lead by one. That's where Fareed gets most of his shots. He's a high percentage shooter from inside the paint. Pass to Kufus. Back to Temple. Labissier, the screen. Temple, the pass to Labissier. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Labissier's got four points in the quarter. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. Farid, a screen on Fox. Fox with a steal. Over Nelson. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Denver shooting at 50% in a decent groove. There's the dish to Barton. Nelson outside. To the middle. Here's Fareed. Kufis with the block. Fareed right side over Kufis. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. On the heel, he's checked in for Bogdanovich. Denver also making some changes. Beasley's checked in for Cephalosha. And it's Moutier in for Nelson. Kings have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. A lot of people pointing towards the Nuggets and thinking about it's not the offense where they need to improve if they're going to get the best out of their young talent. It's defensively and their commitment to that end of the floor. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Screen by Fareed. Here's Barton. And Barton throws it down. And without the pick from Fareed, I don't think that's going to happen. The way he sacrifices his body, commendable there. 
And Brent, last year the Nuggets had one of the worst defenses in the NBA. Well, when you watch the way they play, Kevin, the problems exist because there's just not a ton of experience out there. Uh, not a lot of rim protection or activity on the inside. So as good as they were offensively last year, you know that their coaching staff in training camp was talking about a defensive mindset to keep them more competitive throughout the season. Now here's Beasley after the miss from Buddy Heal. Beasley dishes to Fareed. Here's Plumley. And to look now at the four areas where shots can come from. The paint, mid-range, and shots from deep all broken down for the Nuggets. And clearly, this is a squad that makes its living in the paint. Very few teams are as determined to get the ball inside as much as they are. They aren't going to settle for jump shots. They're going to continue to pound it down low. First free throw is good. And you see Mason Plumley and what he brings to the table right there. A very well-rounded big man. Solid at putting the ball on the floor and creating some space. But perhaps his best attribute. And we saw this in Portland with his teammates Lillard and McCollum. Playing on the top of the key and becoming a playmaker. A good passer up there averaging about four assists a ball game. Plumley hits them both. Well, a former five-star recruit won a championship in college. Plumley still finding his way a little bit here in the pros. Hill kicks to Randall. Plumley with the rebound. And last season, Denver making the trade for Plumley right at the deadline. Many felt they gave up a lot for him, but the team feels he's fit right in. Having him and Jokic down there gives you an incredibly talented passing tandem of big man where Plumlee can play along as the lone big man or sometimes complement what it is that Jokic can do. And he has great athletic ability down there. So we'll see how they maneuver him and what kind of minutes he's going to get for this ball club this year. And it's sent back by Plumlee. Big athletic guys like Plumlee. Hard to get your shot over them before they can get their hands up. Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. Amazing to think about where Paul Millsap's game has come throughout the course of his career. I remember that the first season for him in Utah just shooting three three-pointers. Now he's to the point where he's averaging close to about 250 throws from the three-point line. So his skill at that forward spot on full display in today's Two NBA. Shots. Free throw good for Millsap. And Millsap has become vastly superior as a shooter and playmaker. Well, coming into the league and being drafted by Utah, he was an effort player. Those efforts have paid off. First ever player, Kevin, to lead the NCAA in rebounding for three straight seasons at that size. And now one of the league's most coveted and skilled big men on both ends of the floor. Both free throws good for Millsap. And the Kings, for so long, had not been active in free agency. You have to like the moves this organization has made to bring in some vets in the offseason. Randolph and Hill bring a lot of experience and leadership to the locker room. Now here's Randolph. His last outing, he had eight points. Lock at six. Here's Hill. And it's sent back by Jokic. Deceptive reach from Jokic there, swatting that shot away using those long arms. Chandler outside. 125 left here in the second. Here's Millsap. Randolph grabs the board. Randolph's got his third rebound on the night. And Greg, the Kings wanted to have veteran leaders, and that's what they've got right now. And the Kings are in a, a rebuild mode, and you need vets to lead that process. Show the youngsters the right way to do things, and I think the Kings have started to make some very savvy moves here as they begin this rebuild. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. 46 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Oh, here's Murray. Guarded closely. And it's in there. 
great That's focus from Murray. Really sticking it to the D right there with the tough N1. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Free throw shooting, not an area he has worried about at all. How about last year, 88% from the line. One shot. Free throw good, Murray. Man, what a luxury if Murray can play both guard positions, a perfect blend of shrewd passing and some fearless shooting. And Temple now atop the key. Holly Stein with the screen for heel. Sacramento again missing. Yeah, momentum right now is against them. They're just going to have to figure out a way to ride this one out. Got to be some consideration here for a different rotation because the matchups right now just not favorable. Outside Millsap. Jokic. And Jokic slams it in. Uh, the kind of unselfishness from Paul Millsap is why teammates really respect his play. And so it's the Denver Nuggets. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. Well, they trailed by a bunch, but once they got going, the comeback was on. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Coach Dave Yeager. Coach, what is going to be the focus offensively going into the second half? Well, we try to go inside, you know, that's our strength anyways. And for us, you know, our bread is buttered inside, so we try to play high-low. And then if the threes come out of that, great, but we want to try to get everything to the rim. Coach, it all starts with that entry pass to the big, and then everybody plays off of him. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. And now. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. Ernie Johnson here along with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Time to check out the first half of action. A pretty close game from the Nuggets throughout the first quarter. Some good action during the period, as it was just a one-point game at the end of one. They're in a terrific position now thanks to their flawless execution in the second quarter. Some excellent work offensively now has them up 11 at the break. Shaq, let's get your take on Denver. And simple truth, they just got hot. Didn't matter what the defense was doing, Ernie, they were definitely able to rise above it. Even the tough shots, did you see that one shot? I don't know how they even went down. They can carry this over to the second half. It's going to be hard to beat them, boy. Woo-wee. And over to Kenny now, your take on the Kings. They're being far less aggressive than they ought to be. The free throw differential is huge right now. It's threatening to determine the outcome of the game. So they have to get into the lane and challenge defenders to make them try to stop you. That's it for halftime. Glad you could join us as now we send you back to the action for the start of the third quarter. of action around as always the capitol building tonight we are in sacramento and we continue here on 2k sports well, we're getting back to the action now it's been a one team show so far we'll see if that changes here in the third without question jamal murray displaying his skills today yeah good things happen when you maintain composure their shot selection has been extremely disciplined Hey, Greg, is there a shot that he's taken that has been out of the flow of the offense? I don't think so. Well, it's been a one-sided affair so far through the first two quarters, but there's plenty of time to mount a comeback. Second half underway. Here's who Mike Malone's got on the floor. Chandler at small forward with Millsap the four. Arian Harris in the backcourt, and it's Jokic in at the five, roaming the paint. And Millsap really getting up for that one. Love the aggressiveness. As we've seen, many teams play a little bit of a soft zone defensively. What's the best way, you think, Brent, to counteract that when you're, when you're trying to run your half-court offense? Well, the best way to counteract anybody who's softening up on the backside of the zone is to overload that side of the court, Kevin. So now all of a sudden, if you make a shift with more players on one side of the floor, there's no way for 
three to cover two on the backside. That's where teams can gain incredible advantage. Count that one. Growing confidence for Jokic around the rim. Feels like no defender can stop him in the paint. The Kings trail by 13. Passes to Heald. Paulie Stein, a screen. Randolph, a screen on Harris. Bogdanovich, no luck. Denver's gone three of five from beyond the arc so far tonight. And there's the pass to Harris. He'll sap a screen. Here's Jokic. And the rejection by Coley Stein. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, that, their offense has ground to a standstill. Here's Randolph. He can't get it to go. Good work defensively by Millsap. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. Out to Chandler. Denver passing it around. Jokic a screen. Here's Murray. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Warriors. Yeah, and in a hostile environment, they did not rise to the occasion, especially on the defensive side. Yeah, it felt like they were teenagers during the summer. Low levels of activity allowed too many good looks. Just not their night. He'll snap a screen. And the rejection by Coley Stein. Here's Heald. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. Heald's got his second bucket of the night. Well, that's a beautiful shooting stroke right there. Really a core essential of Buddy Heald's game. Jokic against Coley Stein. He'll set up a screen. Here's Jokic. And another miss by Denver. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Heald kicks to Hill. Randolph a screen. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Millsap. They get it back. And that one is good. And it's six points for Willie Cauley-Stein. And, and that's a great play on the backboard for him. I mean, it's what we expect. All his second chance points do not come by accident. Kicks it to Murray. Jokic a screen. Murray the pass to Jokic. And Jokic slams it in. Now, Jokic is a hard worker. That time, a terrific job of rolling into the open space after he set the screen. Well, in the history of the Nuggets, they've had some great stars. Guys like Dan Issel, Alex English, and certainly Carmelo Anthony during his time in Denver. But Jokic looks to be that guy for this generation. Timeout is called. First of the game for Sacramento. And this Nuggets team clearly sees that their future is going to be built around Jokic. What an incredible season last year. I don't think people realize just how special the offensive season that Jokic had for Denver was last year. He's right up there in the top five in terms of his offensive production. They'll need to add some defenders around them, but they have certainly shifted the offense around the incredibly talented passing big man in Jokic. Here's Nelson following the basket by George Hill. Fareed down low. Labissiere's there. Millsap misses. The Kings trail by seven. A minute 50 left to play in the third. Feeds it to Kufus. They set the pick. Here's Temple. Good. The assist goes to Hill. Temple's got himself on the board with three there. And you can sense things now starting to tighten up. Their offense has become unstoppable. Right, big scoring run fueled by great game planning and really some great shot making. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Hill has the open look. No good from outside. Well, the defense better look up and say thanks. Leaving guys that wide open is not a recipe for success. Fox with the steal. 59 seconds left in the third. He kicks to Kufus. To the left side wing. Temple dishes to Lebissier. 
just four to shoot. Count it, and the Nugget lead has been cut down to two on the bucket from Temple. Temple's got five points now in the quarter. They can go two for one. It's about being smart right now. Jokic with a screen on Hill. Barton kicks to Jokic, and Jokic slams it in. Jokic better and better at setting effective screens, utilizing his wide frame. That gives you a lot of space as a shooter. Now the Kings with it. They're on a 15-6 run. Outside Hill. This year, kicks to Hill. Here's the screen. Lock at six. Labissiere, the screen. Fox with it. And it's Nelson picking him up. And Labissiere throws it down. Love the intensity that Labissiere plays with. Once he sets the screen, he slashes to the basket with great quickness. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. The Nuggets have gone a perfect 7 of 7 from the line tonight. Free throw good for Millsap. Yeah, it's really incredible when you think about the evolution of Millsap's game. This is a guy who was a second rounder that's turned himself into a perennial all-star. Both free throws good for Millsap. Hill. And we've watched three so far in this one. The Nuggets on top, up by four. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. And now let's hear what head coach Dave Yeager was reviewing with his team. You got to help the man guarding the basketball, whether he needs help or not. Be ready. There's Dave Yeager emphasizing team defense, wanting everyone on full alert. Yeah, I mean, you need the threat of someone rotating over at the very least. Otherwise, the offense can just cherry pick their matchups. All right, the fourth quarter of action getting underway. We've had a great one so far with both sides coming to play. Okay, now let's reset our lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go for this fourth quarter. On the floor for Sacramento. Koof is out there with Labissier. And it's Fox. Then it's Garrett Temple. And it's Hill in at the two spot. He used that pick to get in close. And the Nuggets lead by four. And Moutier collects himself, sees where he is on the floor, and simply rises up. Now Fox, outside Hill. Pick up by Hill. Labissier, the pass to Fox. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. Greg, you ask a lot of GMs, De'Aaron Fox, probably the fastest player in this year's rookie class. And he, he plays at one speed. That's lightning. I mean, he's got speed to burn. And maybe not quite as fast as, say, John Wall, but he isn't far behind. He uses that quickness well also in terms of just busting seams on the offense. And at the other end, he can be Take an outstanding defender as he was at Kentucky. First one falls for him. And I really love Fox's game. He's got a ton of room to grow, but boy, does he play with intensity. Sacramento making some changes. Willie Cauley-Stein, he's checked in for Kufus. Bogdanovich comes in for Garrett Temple. And it's Buddy Heald in for Hill. And then for Denver, Wilson Chandler's checked in for Plumley. Gary Harris comes in for Barton. And Murray's subbed in for Moutier. 
Denver in the lead. About a minute played here in the fourth quarter. Here's Murray. Terrific design on the pick play, and he lays it in. Well, if Murray gets his slashing game together like that, that's a good sign for his offense. Love how confident he is. And Bogdanovich kicks to heel. Labissiere, the screen. Back to Bogdanovich. Six on the shot clock. And he banks in the layup. And now they're shooting it pretty well. That was not something we would have said in that first half. Denver's gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. They grab their own miss. Out to Harris. Some nice ball movement by the Nuggets. Here's Millsap. That shot, no good. And Sacramento will go the other way with it. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Fox dishes to Heal. Labissier with the screen for Heal. Over Harris. Heal can't hit. And getting a hand in the shooter's face, locking down that in-between area. So just taking on the challenge on every possession. I love defenders who give nothing away. For Sacramento, they've gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Bogdanovich with it. Now Chandler defending. Dishes it to heel. And Fareed sends it back. And the swat by Fareed was vicious. Stalking his prey. Chandler the pass to Harris. Back to Chandler. He wants to get the Millsap and does. For three, Harris. Cauley Stein grabs the board. The Kings trailing. Three-pointer heel. Buries the long-range jumper. Uh, he can be just lethal from the perimeter. Even though he didn't get good looks in the first quarter, will that make right there? That could change things. Now here's Murray. Guarded by Fox. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. And Paul Millsap, the bucket on the assist by Murray. Murray's got four assists in the game. The Kings have gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Here's Fox. He dishes it to Bogdanovich. Labissiere, the screen. Steps back and shoots. Doesn't go that time. Now the Nuggets take it the other way. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. And the rejection by Coley Stein. Here's Fox. The shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. And the Kings lead by one. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. They're down by one. 152 left in the game. And now we've got a moment for our Jordan player of the game, Billy Cauley Stein. Yeah, and his percentage from the field tonight, just amazing. He hadn't just been gunning. He, he's been picking his spots. And, and you need that kind of patience and discipline to shoot as well as he had. Zach Randolph, he's checked in for Sacramento. Hill comes in for Fox. And Denver with a change here, too. Jokic is checked in. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Well, Mike Malone had some words for his team during the break. With them getting outshot from the perimeter, he told them we have got to defend the three-point line. Those threes are destroying us. We'll see if they can tighten it up, Kevin. Now Milson following the three-point attempt by Jokic. That's tipped. It's three-on-three on, three on the fast break. Now here's Bogdanovich. Defense is right there. Expanding his range. Denver grabs the miss. 106 left here in the fourth quarter. Outside Millsap. Yes! Oh, shocking there. That, that one's amazing. Well, you play your heart out all night long, and then just one or two shots at the end decide the outcome. Harris kicks to Millsap. 
right wing. Inside and stolen by Coley Stein. Now here's Heald to the inside. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And stolen by Bogdanovich. For the finish. Yes! And that was so clutch. I mean, they're in front by the slimmest of margins in need of a stop right here. Denver calls timeout. They're trailing by one. 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What's your take, guys? And, and really no need to rush. Still plenty of time to get a good look. The challenge is to get that good look, preferably the guy with the hottest hand. Bullseye! Uh, just great confidence and courage from Harris on that play. He relishes the chances to build his character and be a hero in a close game like this one. Jokic with the steal. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. That, that's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. And now we've got the intentional foul. the first one and that makes it a three point lead so he gets them both and it's a four point ball game and, and that's curtains for him some really good work at the charity strike to close this one out now a timeout called by Sacramento they're trailing by four nine seconds left in the fourth quarter Nine seconds left in the fourth. It's good! And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. Uh, against length, he does a nice job of creating just enough separation. Well, 10,000 hours of practice at work here, blocking out all distractions and just shooting your shot. the first one and that will put them up by two and so he drops them both it's a three-point game well important there to have the three-point lead because only a three can tie it up now and he commits the intentional foul yeah not sure what that was about I mean talk about a brain cramp So they foul intentionally. Two shots. Good on the first, and that brings them within two here. He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop in. And they're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. He 
adds the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. The second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a four-point ball game. Hill. And so it's Denver who comes out on top here. A truly gutsy performance away from home. You know, it, it really was. And Kevin, when this one was hanging in the balance late, they showed just what a tough-minded group they can be. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Paul. It looked like the game was getting away from you. So how big is it that you were able to come back? You know, we got to do a better job of executing down the stretch, you know, as simple as that. Um, we're just glad we got this win. We just can't let these things happen in the future. I know you're going to keep working on it. Thanks again, Paul. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you later. Into the jungle